Secret Coders Old School Coding School. Lesson 3. Repeats. Hey, my name is Jin Lun Yang. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use the repeat command. This is a topic I cover in Secret Coders, the graphic novel series I'm doing with my friend Mike. But you definitely do not have to read the books in order to understand this lesson. Before we begin, let me show you a neat trick. You can change the thickness of the turtle's pen by using a command called set pen size. Set pen size needs to be followed by a number. The bigger the number, the thicker the pen. If you use a small number like one, the turtle will draw a very thin line. A bigger number like three will give you a thicker line. And an even bigger number like 20? Well, I wouldn't suggest it because the results would be bananas. Let me show you how this looks. I'm gonna bring up UCB logo. I covered how to install UCB logo on your computer in lesson one of old school coding school. I'm gonna type in set pen size 10. Then I'm gonna do FD 100. Remember, FD is short for forward. That line is thicker than I wanted. Let's type in CS for clear screen to reset. Now I'm gonna do a set pen size three. Let's do forward 100 again. That's much better. Suppose I wanna make this line, which is 100 steps long, into a square that's 100 by 100. How would I do it? Well, next I need to make a turn, and then another forward, and then another turn, and then another forward, and then another turn, and then another forward. And there we have a square. Now notice that in order to make my square, I basically type the same code, forward 100, right 90, over and over and over. Anytime you find yourself typing the same thing over and over and over in coding, there is an easier way. And in Logo, that easier way uses what's called the repeat command. By using a repeat, I can draw a square with this short little piece of code instead of that long piece of code you saw earlier. Here's how the repeat command works. This number right here tells the computer how many times to repeat this code right here. One more trick. Instead of typing all the code on different lines like this, you can also type it all on a single line like this. I'm gonna go back to UCB logo, type in CS to clear the screen, and now watch this. Repeat four, four to 100, right 90. A single line creates the entire square. Pretty cool, huh? In Secret Coders Book 1, Hopper and Any first discover the repeat command on page 67. Let's take a closer look at the code they found. Any idea what this code does? If you said draw a hexagon, a shape with six sides, then you're right. But then, how about these two lines? With the words, two open sesame at the top, and end at the bottom. What do they do? These two lines tell the computer that you're making a program, a list of instructions with a name. After the word two is the program's name. In the book, the program's name is Open Sesame, but really you can name your program anything you want. You can name it something like Draw Hexagon, since that's what it does, or you can name it something like Gene is Guapo, which while true, doesn't have anything to do with anything. Now you might be wondering, where do you type this program in? That's where an awesome command called ed all comes in. In Secret Coders Book 2, the et al command opens the keyboard in the back of Hopper and Annie's robot turtle. When you type et al into UCB logo, something almost as amazing happens. You get a window where you can type programs. So let's do that. I'm going to type the same code from the book, only I'm going to call it draw hexagon instead of open sesame. Now I'm going to click file and choose close and accept changes. This brings me back to our main screen. Typing a program into Logo is kind of like teaching your turtle a brand new command. Now, the turtle knows how to do a command called draw hexagon. So when I type draw hexagon in, the turtle draws a hexagon. It's a tiny hexagon, but it's there. Suppose we want to make this hexagon bigger. How will we do it? Well, I'm going to type et al again. Let's change forward 15 to forward 150. We'll do a CS to clear the screen. And now when I type draw hexagon again, I get a much bigger hexagon. I'm going to add a second program in called draw square. Watch this. The turtle now knows two brand new commands, draw hexagon and draw square. Pretty cool, right? Let's take a closer look at these two programs. They look pretty similar, but they do two different things. One draws a square and the other draws a hexagon. 
it's the differences between them that count. Draw a square has a four here because squares have four sides. Draw a hexagon has a six because hexagons have six sides. The square sides are 150 steps long. The same is true for the hexagon. But how about this? How do we know how far the turtle has to turn to make each shape? For the square, we turn 90 degrees. For the hexagon, it's 60. But how do we know that? How do we know that it's 90 for the square and 60 for the hexagon? I'll give you a hint. After the turtle finishes drawing a shape, it always ends up right back where it was, facing the same way. This is true of the square. This is also true of the hexagon. This means that after a turtle has finished drawing a shape, whether it's a square or a hexagon, it has turned all the way around, a full 360 degrees. No matter what the shape, all the turtle's turns have to add up to 360. A square has four sides, so each of the square's corners is 90 because four 90s add up to 360. A hexagon has six sides. Each of the hexagon's corners is 60 because six 60s add up to 360. Another way to put it is this. To figure out how much the turtle has to turn for the square, we can take 360 and divide it by four to get 90. The same is true for the hexagon. We can take the 360, divide by six to get 60. You can do this with any shape. A triangle, for example, has three sides. So the turtle is going to have to turn 120 for each corner. An octagon has eight sides. So the turtle would have to turn 45 for each corner. Here's what the code for a triangle and for an octagon would look like. Let's type both draw a triangle and draw octagon in. Now the turtle knows how to draw a triangle and how to draw an octagon. You got to admit, that's pretty awesome. You can use this same trick of dividing 360 by a number to figure out how much to turn to draw any shape you want. Here's the even more awesome thing about repeats though. All the shapes we've drawn so far are called regular polygons because their sides are all the same length and their corners are all the same angles. But you can get a lot wackier with repeats if you want. I'm gonna make a program called Draw Whatevs. I'll start by having it repeat 23 times because whatevs. Then I'll make it go forward 119 and turn left 26 and go back 44 and turn right 38 because whatevs. Let's type it in and see what happens. You ready? Draw whatevs. Whoa, that is not just whatevs. Well, that's it for lesson three. I hope you'll try experimenting with the repeat statement on your own. For more coding related fun, Check out secret-coders.com. Until next time, happy coding.